Okay, I did a video on these ignition controls earlier, but I wanted to go a little bit farther and put a video out that uh, shows the pilot assembly, what it sounds like when it's running, and so on. So you can get an idea what could possibly be wrong with these things. So what I've done here is I've jerry-rigged this old S86. This is a real old one. I'll use a newer one too, but I've got it just kind of jerry-rigged up to power. I've got, uh, the, you can see the 224 volts uh, terminals here. I've hooked this up to a 24 volt transformer and uh, I'm going to plug that thing in and we'll take a look at that pilot assembly. Okay, there's your pilot assembly. Natural gas comes up here. Well, it could be propane too, but uh, the gas comes out of here. The spark gap is right here. Now, not all these pilots are the same. This is actually a retrofit kit, uh, which I actually saw on some new appliances. But uh, spark comes across this little gap and lights the uh, pilot. And then there's a flame rectification proving circuit that also goes through this same uh, rod. So let's get this thing fired up and we'll see what it looks like. Now you can see what the spark looks like and that's what it sounds like too. So if you have a spark going like that, then you have a gas supply problem. I mean, it could be just the gas is turned off. could be something to do with a, uh, a gas valve uh, not working or possibly the control not powering the gas valve. Uh, so if you got the spark and you don't have a flame, look for gas supply. Now, if you do get a spark and you do get a pilot, but the pilot just keeps burning, the spark keeps coming, but your main gas doesn't come on, at that point you need to consider cleaning that flame rod because that flame rod does get dirty and it is also the sensing rod. So uh, you would want to get some sandpaper or something in there and uh, sand that thing down uh, to make sure it's making, uh, it's going to uh, rectify the uh, current. Okay, so if I come on to this and I had 24 volts coming into the to the 24 volt side and I put my probe from MVPV to PV, I should get 24 volts. MVPV is just common, MV of course is main valve and PV is pilot valve. So if I got nothing out of the control, then the control is giving me trouble. If I've got 24 volts coming out of the control, then I got a problem in wiring your gas valve. So, pretty simple to troubleshoot. Power coming in, power coming out. I would recycle this thing before I tested it because a lot of these things shut off. This one doesn't say whether it does or not. Uh, but a lot of them run 90 seconds and then shut down, and then they'll wait for a little while and try again. But that's the way these things are troubleshot. Now let's look at a new one. Okay, this is a newer product. Uh, it does exactly the same thing. This one says it's got a 90 second trial for ignition. Then it shuts down for a while and restarts. Uh, let's look a little closer here at these terminals. Now the same terminals we had in the other one. With a couple of little exceptions. We got the 24 volt ground, which that means it has to be the common side of 24 volts and then 24 volt. Uh, you can either use 24 volt or THW. Either one seems to work. I don't know why they set them up that way, but they did. Uh, so if I got power coming in to my terminals on the 24 volt side, then I should be able to go from MV PV to PV and I should have power there. If I do have power, continue the gas valve. If I don't have power, the control itself has failed. Let's see if we can get this one fired off too. 
Okay, with this newer control, uh, I've got it hooked up too. And I pulled the spark off of this thing. And I want you to listen to this thing. Now you kind of tell that sounds a little different. It's actually sparking internal in this thing. That means there's no continuity to the pilot assembly. So there's a problem with the with the wiring or ground or something like that. So it's not actually getting spark because you can hear it inside the box. And that's pretty much it. These things are pretty simple. This one is just so you could hear them run and all that sort of silly stuff. Remember, power in, no power out, control's bad. Power in, power out, it's got to be the gas valve or the wiring.